Konnichiwa. Today we're going to talk about kakiru and kakiri. Kakiru is a verb meaning limit or restrict, and kakiri is the e stem, therefore the noun form of that verb. If you don't know about e stems making noun forms, I'll link a video above my head which tells you all the secrets of the mysterious e stem. Now, Japanese likes limiting expressions, expressions to do with limits and boundaries. I did a video on Uchi a little while ago, and I'll put a link above my head and in the information section below. Uchi concentrates on the enclosure, on the area that we're in and everything else is outside of. Kagiri, on the other hand, concentrates on the boundaries of that enclosure, the edges beyond which the enclosure does not reach. And this gives rise to a whole range of expression strategies, some of which are quite literal, others of which are very metaphorical and can confuse people if they don't understand where they're coming from. So let's start with a very simple use of kagiru. Shusseki wa shōtaisha ni kagiru. Shusseki is attendance at whatever the event may be. It is limited at shōtaisha, invited persons. Outside that limit, shusseki doesn't exist. You can't attend the meeting or whatever unless you are an invited person. Now another mainly literal use is koe no kageri ni yonda. I called at the limit of my voice. In English we might say the top of my voice. What we are saying here is the limit as loud as my voice would go. So these are quite literal and easy to understand. But then we get expressions which I think most of you will have heard at some time and are perhaps a little more confusing. So, natsu wa aisu krimu ni kageru. Now, loosely in English that means in summer ice cream is the best thing. What we're actually saying is, speaking of summer, when it comes to summer, it reaches its limit at ice cream. In other words, ice cream is the furthest you can take summer. Ice cream is the pinnacle of summer. There's nothing beyond ice cream when we're talking about summer. And this can be used in all kinds of different expressions. For example, undo nara suie ni kageru. If it's exercise, if we're talking about exercise, it reaches its limit with swimming. Suie. Swimming is absolutely the best kind of exercise. And moving on from this, we get expressions like kanojo ni kagite. Sonna koto wa shinai. And again, in loose English, this would be, she of all people wouldn't do such a thing. She'd be the last person to do such a thing. What we're actually saying is, she is the very limit of people who wouldn't do such a thing. So just like ice cream being the best thing in summer, or calling at the very maximum extent of your voice, she is the maximum, the extreme of people who wouldn't do such a thing. Other people might possibly do it, even if you think they wouldn't, but she is the very limit of the kind of person who wouldn't do that kind of thing. Now, the concept of kageru, limit, is often used negatively to show that something is not limited to a particular statement, a particular notion. So, jisho ni kaite aru koto ga sune ni tadashii to wa Kageranai. And this towa kageranai essentially sums up the previous statement and says that that's not limited to being the case. So what we're saying here is things that are written in a dictionary are always correct. That's the statement and we quote that towa kageranai. It's not necessarily the case that things written in a dictionary are always correct. And I think we found that out to be true on various occasions. Now again, this kageri can be used for the limits of one's knowledge and very often is. So, watashi no shitte iru kageri de wa sonna kotoba wa nai. So, in English we would say, as far as I know, there's no such word. But the expression strategy here is to 
モディファイドなん限り、私の知っている限り、The limit of what I know, up to the limit of what I know, there is no such word. And actually, in this case, it's pretty similar to the English, as far as I know, to the limit of what I know. And it's interesting here that while English says as far as I know, Japanese achieves the same broad pattern by modifying the noun kagiri limit. And as we talked about last week, modification does an awful lot of the heavy lifting in Japanese that's done by other strategies. In English. Now another common expression which can be a bit confusing is the kind of expression we find in Isoide iru toki ni kagitte basu ga okureru Limited to times when we are in a hurry, the bus comes late. Now this is obviously not literal, but it expresses a sentiment often felt that the bus or Whatever it is that does something we don't want it to do, does it specifically when we very much don't want or can't afford it to do it. So really that expression that can seem a little bit confusing at first is a very natural kind of expression, which I think you do find in English sometimes. It's only when we really need it that it doesn't happen. Now another expression is sono ba kagiri. So, その場、限り、ことを言う、means, she says things on the spur of the moment. She talks right off the top of her head. その場、which we've discussed in another video, which I'll link, means literally that place, the appropriate place, the place one would happen to be at at the time. But of course, in Japanese, as in other languages, place can also mean a time or an occasion. So, その場、限り、Koto or you means she says things that just arise out of the particular occasion and nothing else, limited to that particular occasion, having no real relevance outside that particular occasion. So the implication is just essentially talking stuff of no real value that comes off the top of her head. And a very common expression related to this is Kenka wa sono ba kagiri sa. And this is a popular expression, it's not exactly a full sentence. The sa is rather making it into a should. Sa here is saying, that's how it ought to be, come on, that's how it should be. And it's translated into English as quarrels should not be continued. Sometimes it's even translated as let not the sun settle on your wrath, which of course is nothing to do with what it's really saying. But the point here is that quarrels should be limited to sono ba, the occasion, the event on which they arise. So if you quarrel with someone today, you shouldn't be carrying on that quarrel tomorrow. Very good advice. So this is a range of the circumstances in which the kagiri, kagiru concept is applied in Japanese. There are others, of course, but with this information, I think you'll be in a better position to see what's going on. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comments below, and I will reply as usual. I'd like to thank my gold Kokeshi patrons, my producer angels who make these videos possible, and all my patrons and supporters on Patreon and everywhere, the people who like and comment on the videos, the people who just watch them. Thank you all for supporting this channel and helping us to clarify Japanese, helping us to see what's really going on, instead of learning things as a set of magical formula that match up to English expressions, seeing what's really going on so that we can actually understand them and actually use them and know what we're doing. Kore kara mo yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Class dismissed.